Welcome back to Kim's Creations. I am going again with one of my sunrise, sunset, um, galaxy style straight pours. This is a 24 by 24 inch gallery wrapped deep edge canvas. And I am making this for my sister. I am gonna use the Gigantor cup today because this is gonna take a lot of paint and the last 24 by 24 that I made, I had about um, almost 20 ounces of paint and I think I need closer to about 24, 25 ounces, which will be this mark here on this cup from Home Depot, the one quart cup. So I am just gonna get started and I'll tell you what I am using as I put them in the cup. So this here is Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in White. And I have mixed it two parts Floetrol, one part paint. And then I also added hmm, maybe two or three tablespoons of Satin Enamels by Deco Art in white. So I am just gonna start with a little dribble. I think I called it a splooge in my last one. So a splooge of the white. This is Naples yellow, and this is um, a combination, equal parts, Liquitex Basics, Naples yellow hue, and the other equal part is Pebeo Studio Acrylics in Naples yellow hue. So together, these two colors made this one here. And that's what I am going to use. All right. It's really quite difficult to do this with such a big cup. I might have put a little bit too much white in, but that's okay. I can not put it all in. 24K Gold is coming next by Deco Art. And this is with the big tub of paint. Again, mixed about two to one. Flow trawl the paint. Gonna layer a little layer on that. And this one here is Arteza's um, Pearl Marmalade. Lady Marmalade. Beautiful color. All right, let's stop admiring and get just pouring it in, right? I'm gonna follow that up with Arteza's lovely Bordeaux Red. This one is mixed eight parts Floetrol, one part Bordeaux Red. Okay. Next up is, actually I think I'm gonna put a little bit of gold in there. The gold next to the red will turn a little orange. The gold next to the next color that I'm gonna put in, which is Cobalt Blue by Liquitex Basics. The gold next to the blue will create a bit of green, which I'm okay with. I'm gonna put in a pretty good dose of this one, maybe even a little more. And I'm gonna follow that up with the darker blue, which is the phthalo blue, also by Liquitex Basics. Both of those two colors were mixed two to one. Two parts Floetrol, one part paint. Okay. Cups looking pretty good so far. Not that you can see it. I'm gonna see if I can move it over further. Can you see it now? Kind of. See my colors? If I turn the cup around, there we go. Except I can't pour from that side, so. <laughs> Sorry. I am gonna go, I think with another little splooge of gold. 
and a splooge of white. Well, that's good. Back with the Naples yellow. And the gold on top of the Naples yellow. Pearl marmalade. Lady marmalade. Bordeaux red. And get another really good layer of that in there. And on me. Cobalt. It's getting easier to pour. Let's see. I think I'm going to finish that off. Just scrape out my cup. back to the phthalo blue and I'll be finishing that one off too and we should be pretty close to the mark now should be at about 24 ounces of paint Gonna check where I'm at level wise. Do, 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 just under the 24 ounce mark. So I will top that off, I think, maybe with uh, what am I gonna top it off with? I'll top it off with some gold. Gold is always a good choice. And that puts me right at the 24 mark. We'll just top the gold off. A little more of that. Pearl marmalade. All right, I'm gonna set that off to the side. And I'm gonna put a puddle down in the middle. Um, spread that out. All right, what? I'm gonna have a white puddle in the center. And I mixed up all my paints a couple of days ago, so there shouldn't be too many air bubbles in them. There will still be air bubbles though, um, simply because I did stir the paints again. And also just the act of pouring the paint onto the canvas does bring air bubbles into the equation. Okay, we just swirled that around a little bit. Where's my cloth? I have a damp cloth just so I can wipe my gloves off as needed. Better move my paints back because this is the really messy part. bubbles on there. Better get my goober picker router ready though. I think there may be. Let me see. No, we are good. 
All right. I am just going to add a little bit more in the middle. All right, here we go. There are bubbles on top of the cup. We'll just pop that one there. All right, nice full cup here. Hope you guys can see that. Nicely layered. And now we're just gonna go for it. Here we go. Gonna slow this down a little bit so I can turn this. I think I'm gonna do end up doing pretty close to a full circle here. I'm at the part where I can't see. Okay. Getting some really cool fingerlings out of this. Wow, this is a big cup. <laughs> oh, this is looking really pretty. Oh, the gold is mixing with that Naples yellow and it is beautiful. Oh, now we got a little bit of that white coming out. Just going to start. I think I'm going to end this here. Oh! I'm just going to bring that back. Cleaning off the end. There. Okay. That looks better to me. And I am going to pop the bubbles. There are a ton of bubbles on this. your stick and I am just popping them. This guy here refused to go too. Gotcha though! 
I'm a little bit worried about what's under here. Hmm. There is definitely something. Oh my. Ah! I should have used my tweezers. Well, that was a big, huge paint goober. And I saw it actually come out of my cup. But it's a good thing that I am getting it out now so that I can fix all this. It actually kind of looks pretty. Okay, I think I think that's pretty good. All right, that was a good fix. Got the goober out. Now for my base. I think I'm going to thin out my yellow. I'm just thinning out my yellow. And I'm going to use that as flow extender. And I am thinning, thinning, thinning it down so that this paint is thinner than what's on the canvas. And then I don't lose this glorious design here. Okay. Oh, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far, must say. I'm going to start. Let's start over here. All clean. I love this silicone. It's actually an omelet turner. Love this thing. Wet cloth and it's clean. Okay. Final air poppage, air bubble poppage. There are lots more that have come up. Again, all the time spent putting down the base coat um, is not wasted time. It's allowing the paints to mix with one another. For those air bubbles to come up and say hello so that I can pop them. All right, now I just want to take a quick look here and see if there's anything more. I think I'm going to fiddle with this a wee bit more. I wonder if I shouldn't gonna dip it into my Bordeaux red and just drag the red in through there.
kind of fun to just play with the paint. But you can see if you're not liking how something is looking, you can make adjustments. All right, I think I'm good with that, having added just a little bit more of that Bordeaux red through there. Gave it some interest. All right, we'll see what happens. It is time to do the turn thing and get paint everywhere. All right, we can do this. Let me get my gloves up as high as they'll go. All right, let's start tilting. I am just gonna go around in a circle. I love how that Naples yellow combined with the gold and gave it just an extra little shimmer. Just want to do this ever so slowly. Shifting it round and round. Okay, we're gonna go off that side now. Just want the bare edges to touch. And we're gonna go off this far corner. Just gonna help this some more. Look like it might have dried up a bit. Come on, off you go. Bring it back. I'm gonna swirl this down and around. Coming off this final corner. Don't know if y'all can see. Okay. And then the final bit. We're in the final stretch. Home stretch. getting uppity. My dog Cosmo wants to go outside. Ah, oh, finally made it over. Okay. And now we bring it back. Hold on, Cosmo. Whoa. Turn this around. Oh, wow, this thing's heavy. <laughs> I kind of like that my um, sunset, sunrise is on the diagonal. And I think that's back in the middle. Okay, let 
me center that more for you guys. And there it is. In all of its glory. Woo! That is really pretty. Really, really pretty. And just checking. I'm going to go around, see how much more paint I can put on the floor. Oh my God, there's no paint on the floor. Yeah, we're done. All I need to do is cover the corners. So I will be right back. I'm just gonna take my gloves off. I'm gonna fix my edges and then we'll bring you down for a close up. So stay tuned. Okay, I am back with the final results and I'm around one quarter from where the video was originally taken. And that is because this is the best spot to be um, to hopefully eliminate some of the glare. So let's get in for a close up here. Um, bottom left corner, we've got some really good um, mixing of the paints in there. Really great fingerlings all the way through this. I'm loving it. And I got this pretty much all the way around, except for that one little stretch, um, because I turned my cup in a full 360. So I don't know, maybe it's like a school of fish going around and around <laughs> in, uh, in the ocean. Um, but this definitely has the sunrise sunset feel to it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. Now these guys here look like seaweed. <laughs> these guys over here look like fingerlings or fishies swimming around. That there looks like seaweed to me. <laughs> But I do like how it's like the sun setting where that white is, moving into the Naples yellow. And then we get some of that blue, the two blues mixing in um, with the pearl marmalade and then into the Bordeaux red. And then the gold and all of that mixing with the lines in here with both that cobalt blue and the phthalo blue and the red all the way out to this corner here. Overall, it's just a really cool, very, very interesting painting. And I love it. All right. Um, oh, gotta point out these stripey cells through here too. And look at the, look at the fingerlings, even like, well, I guess these would have been cells on their own, but it's the paint folding over itself, creating these. Oh, now that guy right there definitely looks like a fish. Look, you can see his eye and he's smiling. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, there's a little bit of a green tinge to that too, and that was the Naples yellow mixing, of course, with the blues. Um, again, kind of helping to contribute to that underwater sea theme, if you want. Or maybe it's a volcano and the volcano's underwater and the fish are, I don't know what the fish are doing. I don't know why they're swimming around the volcano. Maybe they're trying to bring the cool water into the hot. See, now I'm creating this whole story out of this painting. Um, you, of course, can... Um, let me know what you think this painting looks like. Um, and please leave a comment in the comments section below. Give it a thumbs up if you like what you've seen. And of course, if you have not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. All right, well, that's it for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Bye for now.